So Atatasic is a retractable weed. It's, it's very, well, it can be hard to kill. It's highly unpalatable, uh, widespread over the southern central and parts of the northern tablelands in New South Wales. Flupropanate is the active ingredient in a herbicide almost well, it's commonly used as the prime herbicide of choice for serratotussic management. It's relatively selective. It kills serratotussic and leaves a moderate amount of pasture grasses behind and, and clovers and medics. And um, doesn't require treatment usually after two or three years. So it's, um, it's, it's an excellent herbicide, but we've, we, we've leaned on it too much of past in the last 30 odd years and unfortunately plants the way they are and uh, there's a few plants out in the population that can resist that and they've, they've built up number. The problem with resistance is it's a natural occurrence. There's always plants in a population that have some form of elevated tolerance or resistance and uh, if we apply herbicides repeatedly without any follow-up control, alternative follow-up control, we'll get the odd plant that comes through that, that cycle. They'll produce seed, they'll build up, the susceptible plants will die and, and what you will do is basically favour the population to a, um, a flu propionate resistant um, population where all the susceptible plants have, have been killed off. Resistance is not so easy to spot. Um, well, I, what I see in the paddock from my experience up at other weeds, you'll see plants completely dead amongst those that are struggling and recovering or some that aren't even affected. Usually it's quite patchy and I expect Serratotussic would be like that. Um, and then it could have half a paddock that's suddenly dead and then another part of the paddock generally quite healthy um, with no apparent excuse for that apart from resistance. Sometimes you get survival from um, Serratotussic from shading or natural occurrences there, ones you can rule out. Sometimes you get a drought year, the whole paddock doesn't die properly, it might only partly die. But when you get a patchy sort of kill, that's when I, my alarm bells ring. Controlling resistance and preventing resistance are basically the same thing. You're using, hopefully, alternative products or tactics or even non-chemical tactics at least to stop the production of seed from any potentially resistant plant. So if there's any survivors you, you, you see in a paddock after a spray job, I'd particularly uh, urge people to go out and stop those plants setting seed any which way they can. Spot spraying with glyphosate, which is the only alternative herbicide out in the market, We're registered for serrated tussock. Um, physical removal, um, potentially slashing before the seeds are viable. Uh, they're the main ones. Um, that, that, you know, yeah, basically almost getting down to physical removal if need be. There's no other alternative herbicides apart from glyphosate and flupropanate. That would be the whole list of herbicides available and that applies to a whole range of other, other tussocky weeds out in the marketplace. That's why we're looking for alternative herbicides. At least get some additional options for farmers to, to choose something that's a little bit more palatable than using glyphosate over a paddock.